Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and this week I have a UI tip for you, and it has to do with the navigation bar. Now I've had a few people ask me about this, and basically on one of my projects they saw how the navigation bar came down and disappeared depending on what screen I was on. So you can selectively tell your navigation bar to hide or show depending on which view controller you're showing. And let me show you an example here. So here I have an application, there's no navigation bar showing, and I go to the next screen and the navigation bar shows. Go back and it disappears. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, let's take a look at the project. And here we have the navigation controller and you can see there is a bar up here. You know, but this is the bar that we never see. And then there's a placeholder for the navigation bar here as well. Well, basically what I had to do is on this screen, on this view controller, there are two overrides that I have to implement. And those are the ones we're gonna look at. Okay, so this screen right here is just using the view controller. So let's take a look at that. Okay, now in here, you see we have a view did appear, but I want something different. Before the view appears, I want to remove the navigation controller from the view hierarchy. So I need a function or an event or an override that happens before view did appear. So what I'm going to use is view will appear. If you just start typing it in, view will appear. Yeah, you'll see it right here. So we want that one. And you notice it already puts the override in there for us. There is one thing we still need to do though. You know, if you're going to be overriding these, and that is calling like this function right here, the, the super. And basically what that does is, you notice here we're, we're inheriting from UI view controller, right? Well, that is what we're overriding is the view will appear is on the UI view controller. But we still want, if this UI view controller has any code that gets executed and view will appear, we still want that to get executed. So what we want to do is we want to call super.view will appear in the UI view controller, the base class. And for this parameter, we're just going to pass in whatever this parameter is, whatever that value is. Okay, now in here, it's just one line of code. I need to access the navigation controller. And you notice this property, like I didn't create this property, it's already part of the UI view controller. It's just, and you know, sometimes your view controller doesn't have a navigation controller. And that's why this is optional, it has that question mark. So sometimes it's nil, sometimes it isn't. And then there's a function off of this called set navigation bar hidden, which is right here. And this is what you have to set. So we say, yes, we do want it hidden. And for the animation, I'm going to make that false because we, we don't want to go into the screen and then see it like kind of go up and disappear. <laughs> so we just don't want to see it at all. Now the problem is if I run this right now, let's see what happens. Okay, that's good. Navigation bar is hidden and it didn't animate out of sight. But look, when I come to the next screen, it doesn't show. So what we have to do is before, and I can't even get back. So before we leave this view controller, we need to show the navigation bar again, or the navigation controller, or the navigation bar. <laughs> so many different terms. Okay, the function we want to override here is view did disappear. And that basically means uh, that it's, it's being removed. Yeah, it just says right here notifies the view controller that the view has been removed from the view hierarchy. So that's what we want. And again, we're going to call the, the base class here. View did disappear. And we're just going to pass in that same, this, this value right here is basically this parameter. So we're just going to send it down to the base class. Okay, so here we want to show it again. So it's basically just kind of like the reverse of this, this line, right? So let's copy that, paste it in here except here we want it to show, so we're gonna change this to false. And then the way I have it is it's animated, so you see it come down, it's kind of like a nice effect. So I say true, so we want it to animate coming down. Okay, good, and that should do it. Okay, it's not showing. Go to the next screen, the view did disappear gets run, and the navigation bar gets added back. Okay, good. Now there's one last thing I want to clear up with you guys, and that is if we look at, here, let's look at the help on these functions again. Like the view did 
disappear and the view will appear. Okay, notice it says here, it notifies the view controller that its view has been removed from a view hierarchy. Now, that's one thing I just want to clear up with you guys is what is a view hierarchy? Well, a good way to think about it is if you look at the storyboard and, you know, we're on this view controller and the view has different controls in it. Well, this is kind of like a view hierarchy. It's, you know, you have like a container with controls in it and then there's controls in there and then controls in there and, you know, the hierarchy can just keep going down. Except with the view hierarchy, the top isn't like a scene or view controller. The top is actually a a window control, a UI window control, and then everything else is inside of there. So that is a view hierarchy. That's what they mean. And basically it's just saying, oh, everything here has been removed because it's being replaced with the next screen. All right, great, guys. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with your friends if you want them to learn something new or turn them on to my channel. And consider subscribing because I come out with tips every week on Mondays. If you guys want to help out this video or help out my channel, you can also submit a translation for the title and the description. Don't worry about translating the subtitles because that is way too much work. And I know some people have done, done this in the past, and I really appreciate that effort. I know it must have taken a lot of work, and I am really grateful to you guys. All right, thanks, guys.